Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Keeping Goals. I'm not going to be able to get you out of there. I've only got my life saving level one. <laughs> now I'm a pretty rare breed. I'm a goalkeeper that actually enjoys going for a run. I'm ready for training. Looking forward to it. Going to bring you guys along. Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Keeping Goals. If you're new here, my name's Conor O'Keefe. I'm a goalkeeper currently playing in Sweden and Keeping Goals is a vlog documenting my journey throughout football. We've got a slightly different setting for the beginning of this week's vlog because me and Frankie are here. We're in Storforsen, which is a natural reserve near to Petia with some of the largest rapids in Scandinavia. And we're gonna come and have a look because this weekend we have a free weekend. So we're out, we're exploring. I can probably hear the rapids actually. You probably can hear the rapids. We have a free weekend because this week we played on Thursday. We had a game against Solentuna at home. And later on in this vlog, I will show you the highlights. I'll show you how we got on. But right now, we're gonna go and find some rapids. I've got a feeling this is going to be pretty cool. Also, if you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. It really helps us out. And if you haven't already, click subscribe and come and join the Keeping Goals Union. So if you're wondering where all the snow and ice goes when it melts in Sweden, Beautiful. Well, I didn't know if I was following you or not, so I was like, Yeah, yeah. come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Guys, guess what? We just it's Frankie Cam. <laughs> I'm going to try and find you a dog. Frankie Cam's back. Right, please don't fall in while you're holding it. I'm not going to be able to get you out of there. I've only got my life saving level one. <laughs> uh? I had swimming lessons. <laughs> yeah. I could take that. It's not quite Macclesfield Leisure Centre. <laughs> a wonderful establishment. Might need a couple of armbands. Yeah, I would need armbands for that. Good morning everybody. Now I'm a pretty rare breed. I'm a goalkeeper that actually enjoys going for a run. I know there's not many of us. Not a massive run, 5K, 10K. I quite enjoy it. Helps my body to feel in flow when I'm running well. However, I don't normally get the opportunity to go running very often because obviously with training and other things that I'm kind of working on, longer distance running isn't really a priority for me as a keeper. But seeing as we've got a weekend off, I thought I'd come out for a nice little Sunday morning run. It's a little bit cloudy, a little bit rainy, but that's perfect weather really. And it's nice to run by the water. This is one of the islands near Petia. Loads of forests, loads of lakes, loads of rivers. Really nice place to just get your headphones on, just go for a run. So that's what I'm up to this morning. I also wanted to say, I didn't get the chance to film it yesterday because I was so consumed with it, but how good was Schmeichel in the FA Cup final? Wow, that save at the end unbelievable i've said it before but casper schmeichel one of my favorite keepers to watch incredible goalkeeper but alongside all the technical ability physical ability his mentality is just unreal if you think about it growing up being told that your dad is the best goalkeeper of all time and then you try and become a goalkeeper and everyone just going oh you're peter schmeichel's son and for him to develop into the keeper that he is one of the best goalkeepers in the world win the premier league win the fa cup with leicester and consistently be one of the top keepers in the premier league incredible so big love for casper schmeichel and what a cup final who doesn't love a cup final anyway on with the run So 
So for lunch, we're having a mix of chicken, rice, tomatoes, peas, spinach, a little bit of avocado in there as well. And we're gonna have that with a wrap. Very nice to have the weekend completely off as well. I think it's probably, yeah, it is the only weekend we've had off since I arrived at the beginning of January. Obviously, having played on Thursday, recovery Friday, you can have the weekend to just chill. We didn't have any training sessions, so we went to the park yesterday, saw the rapids, nice kind of chilled day. And then today as well, just relaxing. Much needed as a kind of mental switch off. Having had three months of pre-season and then almost a month and a half now of the season as well. To have a few days where me and Frank, we can go, we can chill, not think about football, not stress, not worry about training, all that kind of repetitive work that you need to put in and give the brain a little bit of a relax. I've really enjoyed it. It's allowed me to kind of recharge mentally, physically, and you can use things like the FA Cup game yesterday to get that motivation back, to get excited, ready to play football again. I'm always excited. I always enjoy playing football, but bring that little bit of energy again for some important games coming up. Anyway, I'm gonna show you how we got on on Thursday, seeing as I've talked about it a few times, show you the highlights and bring you a little bit of game analysis, as always. And um, your lunch is getting cold. Thanks. We'll eat that before it gets cold. So after our first win of the season, the week before against Honninger, we had moved up to 12th place with six points. As you can see from the table, it was very tight. The team that we were playing, Sol and Tuna, were only two points ahead of us. We'd played them before in pre-season, you guys might remember. We knew they were a good team, we knew that it'd be a tough test, but the aim was to continue the momentum that we'd gained from the Honninger win and put in another good performance. So kicking off, we're in red, Sol and Tuna in white. So beginning of the game, ball gets played back to Bernardo. I offer to support, turn out with the ball and play to Philip, my right centre-back. We were playing three centre-backs. You still want to be able to show, he plays back to Pontus, I support Pontus, take the touch into space, look to break lines by playing into James, our left wing-back with the left foot. He's unfortunately not able to link with the forwards. James does a really good job pressing here, puts in a cross, Pash tries to set it back, takes the deflection to see her on the edge with a great strike and the first goal of the game, nice and early, like the Honninger game. See her getting the first goal, getting it nice and early, settling us down. Really good finish. See has done a really good job of getting into those positions and it's nice to see him be able to score the first goal yet again. Solentuna threatening, good run, played to the edge of the box, good strike, blocked by his own guy. I think I had it covered comes back out, cross in again, wins the header, but nice and safely wide. Ball over the top from Solentuna, this is where you want to protect the space in behind, come in clear, make sure that your centre-backs know that you're protecting their behind. Cross in, picked up by Solentuna again, played short, nice turn, cross across, draws both centre-backs, I have to come out, make the block save due to that space at the back post. Cross back in, Bernardo does a really good job in defending well, standing up, staying big and showing the danger out of the box. Short corner, built up, Axel does a great job blocking the initial strike. Out to the edge of the box, puts in the cross, this is where you try and read it, come, claim and collect. It was a nice cross for me to come and take, I could watch it all the way and judge it. Corner comes in, Freddy at the back post, defender manages to see it behind. Subsequent corner again. Bernardo with the opportunity, just over the bar, another really good chance. James with the ball on the left hand side, plays out to Pash. Pash does a really good job to put in the cross with his left foot. And Freddy, brilliant header, good save from the keeper. Good opportunity out of very little. Second half, build up down the left hand side for Solentuna, gets to the byline, crosses it in. It was just too high for me to hold, so it drops down. Bernardo volleys it straight up in the air. I'm watching it. And that's a poor mistake to drop that ball, but when the ball is dropping directly on top of you, it's really difficult to deal with. Managed to save the follow-up shot and collect it, but a little bit messy to begin with the second half. Cross in, Pontus deflects it over the bar fortunately for a corner. Free kick, whipped in, important to hold it there. There was the threat of obviously the striker coming in, but held it well. Side volley into the strikers, 
It's a good distribution technique to use when you want to keep it flat and find the forwards. Break for Solentuna again, through ball played, judge it and then come and make the smother. Make sure that you judge the pace of the ball and then when you make your decision, commit to it. Good ball from Pash out wide, Freddy 1v1 with the defender does really well to beat him, put in the cross, but the centre back does a good job to flick it away from Pash. Henke down the right, good cross in, hold up from Fred, set off to James, good Good strike and a good save from their keeper does a really good job pushing it nice and wide. After their initial pressure at the beginning of the second half, Solentuna were now kind of resorting to long range shots, shot from angles. We were starting to dominate a little bit more on the ball. Good ball from Henke over the top. Freddy does really well to beat the centre back to it. Through 1v1 with the keeper, pulled back by the centre half, and the referee makes the decision that it was the last man and sends him off. Again, at this point, you're thinking, right, can we capitalise on that opportunity? Strike from the edge of the box, well blocked by Sia, easy collection for me. Again, another side volley into Mo, into Pash. It's something that I've liked using to try and find the forwards quickly. Another good run from Mo, good cross, and a flick from Mackett, not quite on target. We were starting to dominate now, starting to create chances given that we had the extra man. Freddy with a really good pass. We robbed it really well in the middle. Great pass to Pash, good turn and good strike to make it 2 0 in the 85th minute. As you can see, he was pretty pleased with it. And we all were. After having a little bit of pressure, especially at the beginning of the second half, we did really well to get control of the game again. And that second goal really consolidated that. Straight away, another opportunity. Good run from Mo, good strike from Mackey, and a good save from the keeper. Nice free kick from Freddy. Great feet from Pash again. Manages to beat two. And a good save 1v1 from the keeper. Free kick into the box, header, easy save, but offside, so no worries there. Really nice ball from Mo over the top, great to see the space and a good run from Pash. Does really well to flick it over the defender. James was screaming for it, laid it off well and a nice side foot finish. 89th minute, third goal and we were in control. It was probably what we deserved. We probably could have been scoring more goals given the amount of chances that we had but nice to be able to get three goals, to have a really good performance, and obviously for James to get another goal as well from left back, doing very well. I think he's on three already for the season. They tried a cheeky one from centre kick, went with a straight shot, but not really that close. Clearance, and that was it. Final whistle, 3-0 win, great performance, and especially very pleased to get the first clean sheet of the season. A really strong performance from the team. A really good job to kind of maintain the momentum that we gained from that first win against Honinger. When you have two games so close together, you want to continue the good things that you've done in the last game, obviously adjust the things that you want to improve. And I think we definitely did that. We created more chances, defended really well, felt really solid. So to get the first clean sheet, score three goals, and to dominate a game like that was very, very pleasing indeed. And as you can see, that win made a big difference to the table, shot us all the way up to seventh position. And it just shows you how quickly things can change in football. From less than a week, we went from no wins, 13th position, up to seventh, and things are looking a lot brighter. I think it's deserved. I think that's more of a fair reflection of how we've been doing as a team. But it has shown us that every game you need to come fully prepared because anyone can be anyone. So we need to continue this momentum keep putting in the work that we've been doing and hopefully even more wins and even more clean sheets to come. And speaking of work, I'm going to bring you guys along right now to our first training session back after a couple of days off and show you some of the goalkeeping work that we're going to do. So let's go to training. You know when you get that feeling when you haven't played football for a while and you're just excited to play? <laughs> I'm ready for training, looking forward to it, going to bring you guys along, show you what we're working on with the goalkeeping, let's enjoy it. In the sun as well, beautiful. And the next one he's going to put like in there.
Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, not that much goalkeeping today. Only a little bit of goalkeeping work before we went into possession, small sided games, all that kind of stuff. But I hope you found that drill valuable at least. A little bit of a blast to get back into it. This week's patron of the week is Connor Garforth. Connor, thank you so much for supporting me, for supporting Keeping Goals as a patron. We wouldn't be able to make this vlog without patrons like yourself. So as a thank you, here is your Keeping Goals shout out. If you'd like to win Patron of the Week, like Connor, and also receive tons of other benefits exclusive to patrons like behind the scenes content, live Q and A's, you can sign up using the link below this video. But that's it for this week's episode of Keeping Goals. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, that little like button, give it a click. It helps us out a lot. I would really appreciate it. And if you haven't already, click subscribe and come and join the Keeping Goals Union. I'll see you next Sunday for the next episode. As always, look after yourself, guys. Have a great week. Keep chasing improvement. And I'll speak to you in a bit.